if I ask you to present Christianity to me? Um, this isn't a trick question. You know, I'm somebody who genuinely listens to the other side, if you like. So, you know, I'm somebody who will go off, read um, an atheist book or the atheist argument, if you like. I'm somebody who would go to, um, you know, a Hindu website and, you know, read what they have to say. Uh, so I don't mind uh, taking in uh, an alternate view. So I'm just wondering what you would say to myself. I want you to concentrate with me, Muslims, to show you who is the Messiah even in your book. The Messiah is the only one he have a mother, but he don't have a father. In your book, he is the only one being called the Holy Son in your book. And the only human actually is holy in your book because even Muhammad is not holy. And according to your prophet, all mankind will be touched by Satan except two, Mary and the Messiah. And why the Satan cannot touch Mary? Because of the Messiah. From your book, And he is the only one. Follow with me. So until now I showed you few things. First, he is the only one who have a mother, but he don't have a father. He is the only one. He was called holy. He is the only one who Satan and even his mother, because of him, Satan cannot touch them in their birth, according to your prophet. Let us continue. He is the only one being called the Word of God. The Word in your book. He is His Word. And He is the Word. And the Word of God never die. And Word of God and God is one. Even in your Islamic books. The God of Islam, one of his names is Al-Haq. And the God of Islam, whatever he say, is Haq. And his name is Haq. And his word is Haq. So he and his word is one. And Jesus is the word of God. So according to your book, Jesus is your Lord. But as you see, you're a prophet who made the Quran. He contradict himself in every verse. And listen in here. And he is the only one. He is a spirit of God. He is the Spirit of God. You are reading a translation, it says in here, and a spirit proceeding from him. What does that mean, is spirit proceeding from him? Do you see it? He is a spirit proceeding from your God, from Allah. Guys, the Messiah is a spirit, is not a man. This is the Quran. He is a spirit. From who? Proceed from Allah. And in here I want to ask anyone a very easy question. Is Adam is a spirit proceed from Allah? I challenge anyone to say yes. Adam in the Quran is not a spirit proceed from God. He is a spirit created by God not a spirit proceed from him. In the reverse in the Quran you will see the God of Islam saying, I created Jesus. How you say he, you created him when you say he is a spirit proceed from you? He is not out of nothing. Creation is making something out of nothing. But you just said he is a spirit proceed from you. So he is coming out of something. He is not from nothing. And as long Jesus is a spirit who, you know, who proceeds from the spirit of God, your God, Muslims, remember, it's mean, and this is explained why he's holy. Because if God is holy, 
This is why always the Spirit of God will be holy. And as long the Messiah is the Spirit of your God, it means the Spirit of your God and the Spirit of Messiah is equal. Can you divide your spirit? Like, can I ask you to give me two pounds of your spirit? The Spirit of God is one. And the Spirit of God is holy, because God is holiness. So, Jesus is the Spirit of God in your Quran. Jesus is the Word of God from your Quran. And Jesus is the only one who have no father in your Quran, coming from a mother, not a father. And Jesus, he was in above in the sky. Maybe you will say to me now, how you say Jesus was a Word? From the sky because yes the Quran says he you know he sent down his word to Mary he gave Mary the word which means the word was up in the sky first was not in the earth it was a gift from God where your God live he lived next door to me or he lived in up in the in the heaven so Jesus is the word of God coming down from heaven which means he is the only one who came down to earth from heaven and he is a man in the same time and you will say to me is that proving something yes proving a lot that Jesus and God is one and not only that I will show you a verse and you will see how Quran is full of contradiction in here it see it says that he is a messenger of the children of Israel and in the same time he can, he can create from the clay bird and to breathe into it and he became a bird by Allah leave, which means by Allah permission. So a Muslim now will say, you know what, but Allah is giving him a permission, it doesn't matter. You give me a permission or not, it's mean I can do it. When you give your son a permission to drive your car, it does not mean he cannot drive a car. The Quran did not say he gave him the ability, he said gave him a permission to do so, which means he have the ability to do so. There's a huge difference between permission to do something and ability to do something. Your God, he did not say, I gave you the ability he said I gave by my will as a permission not by my will as ability this is your Quran by the allowed of Allah Allah allowed it to happen which means Allah he did not reject me creating things but I can create in the same time, you will see the Quran saying that do the one who create equal to the one who cannot create? Let me show you the verse. Is then he who create like one that create not? Don't you remember? The one who create is not the same, the same as someone he don't create, and Jesus he create, which means he is unlike anyone. Not even your prophet, he can create a fly. By a permission of his God or not, he cannot. So listen to this. Jesus is the one who can create, and the Quran says, can the one, is the one who create the same as someone he cannot create, and the word the creation is making something out of nothing. Somebody will say, but Jesus, he used the mud to create a bird. Well, your God, Allah, in the same time, he did use the mud who created Adam. He did exactly the same creation, same equal ability. And he breathed into that bird and that bird created, which means he can create a human. So in here we showed you many verses, all of them, they are proving to us a point. And this point that Jesus is the creator.
and Jesus is a spirit proceeding from him him who Allah according to your Quran I don't believe in your Allah and Jesus is the holy he is the only one being called holy and Jesus is the only one who will never been asked to be for to to to, to repent for, to to forgive his sin because he is holy which means he is not he cannot do sin is an sinner and you are asking me to present Christianity to you I ask you brother Muslim if I can call you brother come to Christ and repent to Jesus he is your Lord he is your master this book full of contradiction made by Satan to fool you but you know what always the Lord he don't leave himself without evidence Jesus is Lord Islam is false I mean